Hey YouTube, coming at you with the Aviary Smith team in the Ultra League uh, from earlier in the season. It says Eleanor, but his name is Thomas, um, and his daughter chooses his avatar. <laughs> so they said, uh, first five games went 3-2, and, and second five went 4-1. My move timing needs work, and would love any feedback. Also, I'm buying a new phone soon, and I'm not sure whether I should go for iPhone or Android. I heard oh, iOS runs GBL with less leg than Android, 100%. Like, I've never tested it. I've only used the um, like iPhone um, at like the regionals, which is like a different thing because they got like sp specific iPhones plus like better connection and everything. But Android sucks. Android is by far the worst phone to play with for GBL. Um, anyways, so let's look at the let's look at the battles. The team itself is mostly balanced, right? You have Florgas with the deal with the. Um, you know, dragons, which Venusaur will have problems with as a, as a grass. Um, and then Licky Licky is the safe swap. So I think it's mostly balanced. There's nothing super top of mind that's going to be steals, actually, now that I think about it. Steals, which is maybe why they're running Earthquake on Licky Licky. Because normally you run Shadow Ball Body Slam, but steals resisting every move from both Florgas and Venusaur would be pretty tough to deal with. So let's take a look at the, at the matches here. Okay, Giratina. So this is a pretty good lead. Um, it's a Dragon Breath, which actually makes it better. It's going straight to Zarmine Voice. I don't think a Moonblast takes out, but I think you probably... <clears throat> well, maybe it would have. I think maybe you wanted to have um, at least baited it. Oh, no. Okay. We have a Charm Sylveon here. Um, and Sylveon, and as a charmer, has its moves, uh, charm, anyways, resisted by Venusaur because it's poison. So you want to come in Venusaur here to resist the charms. It does have Psy Shock, which would be super effective against Venusaur. Um, but I think you just come in and, um, I think you just come in and, um, resist those charms. Giratina comes in. It's got to throw Dragon Cool. Interesting. Going to commit the shield. Um, I mean, this will take out. So I guess you just want to... And you could have almost gone back to back. So that's actually not a bad shield. Because you're forcing their energy. You forced the shield and you forced their energy twice. So that's not too, too bad, actually. Back into Florgas. Oh, it's a Primarina in the back. So that is an easy top left for here. Um, Togekiss is, I guess, a neutral lead as a charmer. You probably don't want to go. So you do continue just to go straight Disarming Voice. And look, I think Disarming Voice is probably the right move to throw in a lot of these situations. You've got to at least fake the Moonblast. Um, again, you will outpace with the three Disarming Voice. But Disarming Voice is a really hard-hitting move for those of you who do not... Like, for what is generally a bait move, it is a pretty hard-hitting move. Let me look up the stats on this thing. Because um, I'm always impressed with how much it does when I when I do use Florgas. But I think you have to at least fake that you're going to go to the nuke to at least threaten. Okay, so the difference in stats. Yeah, so for a 45 energy move, like, again, Moonblast is... Way better damage and better damage per energy for only 15 more energy, too. But for 45 move, Disarming Voice is 84, 1.87. That's not it's not the best, but for a 45 energy move, that's pretty decent, 1.87 damage per energy. Um, in this matchup, getting the uh, Trevenant resisting the claws on your normal typing, which I didn't even put normal typing. Whoops. Um... Yes, Licky Licky, like Lickitung, is a normal typing, so it will resist all the gross move, ghost moves. Jesus. Okay, Ampharos is a, I think, a decent lead because you're kind of forcing them to, most would probably just throw a Brutal Swing if they could. But you're forcing the electric move, whatever one they may have. If it is Thunder Punch, it's fine because it's like basically the same energy. 
Trailblaze. Okay. So Volt Switches are neutral. Oof. Yeah, that was bad timing there. But do get a move up. But now they'll probably shield because they got a full Volt Switch through there. And now baiting the Brutal Swing. I guess Brutal Swing is quicker than Trailblaze. Now you lose CMP. I think at this point you have to just let it go. Come Venusaur. No. No. You don't need Switch on this team, realistically, because you have Licky Lick as a great safe swap. Um, Electric and Trailblaze will be resisted by Venusaur, so they'd have to throw the Brutal Swing. So now they're going to get to the Brutal Swing because you just went down anyways. I think you let that Florgus go. You come in and get way ahead on, on energy with Venusaur in, in the one shield. So now, yes, you just get lost there, and now you have to kind of sweep with this. Um maybe the 50 second switch timer will help you a little bit here but if they're smart they just let this go and just two shield whatever in the back yeah throw a quick too knowing that the incinerates are going to add up on you and yeah they're just going to let this go knowing that they well actually they're going to let this go because they have no choice they have no shields um, but yeah they just got to go Skull dirges are win con anyways. And uh, also Sludge Bomb is also resisted because of the ghost. So just both moves are resisted. Might as well throw the frenzy, which is harder hitting, but it does not matter because you are just gonna get lit up by a skull dirge. So there's not much you can do. There. Glacipod again is kind of a neutralish one. Um, it charges pretty fast with the Shadow Claws. And no, not X Scissor. X Scissor is resisted on Fairy. So Bug is resisted on Fairy, so you have to throw the Liquidation. Again, going double. And this is the main problem with Florgus. This is why it's kind of strong, but also kind of useless at times. Um, one is you're just a straight Fairy and you have no other secondary moves. Two is Moonblast rarely, rarely one shots in the, master, in the Ultra League. So almost all the time you'd have to go Moonblast Disarming Voice. So like the this, this subscriber here is correct. Going um, just straight Disarming Voice is the right play like 95% of the time. But again, I would probably fake it a little more than that. You could take one Brutal Swing um, and obviously the Electrics. Okay, boosting it. Now maybe shield if they boosted their brutal swing and they're gonna go here or maybe they don't have brutal swing and yeah, brutal swing. So it is a flyer and it is Lugia which caught your move so that's unfortunate. Still does a lot and then you got a rollout user that also has a shadow ball so this with shield advantage so this should be a very 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 easy win. So yeah, it is. It's Florgus is ranked like eleventh or 10th or 11th in the Ultra League. And you are seeing its strength, right? Just Disarming Voice pretty much does, Fairy Wind Disarming Voice combo does like 50% on most Pokemon. And just the spamminess of the Fairy Wind and Disarming Voice combo there, it, like you, it adds up pretty quick on your opponents. So that's what makes it pretty strong. So yeah, maybe you want a little more steel coverage for, for with this team. Um, and then yeah, some of your decisions on your Entries and exits here. Okay, so good lead. Cress uh, coming in with Licky Licky. I mean, you have the Shadow Ball, so it makes sense coming in here. Plus, you don't know what it's if it's running. Mo yeah, that's the only thing. I still think this is right in Licky Licky because you have the Shadow Ball. That being said, if this thing is truly just running the recommended move set, which I'm pretty sure I will confirm should be. Grass Knot and uh, Moonblast. And that is the recommended moveset. So Grass Knot and Moonblast would be both resisted by Venusaur. You'd resist the Grass Knot on the... Actually on both the Grass and the Poison. And then you'd resist the Moonblast on the Poison. So you could have just come in there and resisted everything but the fast move Psycho Cuts, which aren't going to do much. Um, but again, you did come in here because you have the Shadow Ball. That being said, you did just lose a Shield running the earthquake instead of 
body slam. I think body slam is probably better on Licky Licky. I think you're just using it on this team because you need coverage. Uh, but it's not non-stab. Earthquake is not a good move here. Unless they're running Gunk Shot, which I would not shield. Um, this is just all resisted. And they are just trying to spam resisted moves, which means they're either really weak to Florgas in the back, or they just don't have a great answer. That is a great answer. What are they doing? Okay. I have no idea why they did not come. Maybe they were burning the switch clock. Uh, but this is a pretty bad matchup. Like their win con is right here in Nita Queen. So they should shield everything. Yeah. Shield and just overpower you with the poison jabs, poison fang combo here. Because you can't do anything in the back with Florgas. So they're just going to outpace you with the 2v1 shield advantage here. Yep. Smart heads up by your opponent. Um, and basically just using this as a sacrifice. Saving that last. Yep. Just getting it off right now. Don't really want to take Moonblast. You can. It's resisted. But not taking it if you don't have to. This will do not much. I'd be very surprised if they shield. And now we'll take you out. Yeah, smart smart has a play by your opponent once like once they saw in the back. So yeah, maybe you want a better poison answer. That's actually uh, that's actually another flaw of the team. Florga's gonna have problems throwing stuff at steel, but on top of steel, one of its po one of its weaknesses is poison. And Venusaur as a grass poison is not an answer for poison. So you may want to add something like a like a ground like a true ground type Pokemon in the back. To, do, to truly balance the floor is out. In fact, if you go on PB Poke, I bet you they do recommend some sort of like ground type Pokemon to pair it with. Go Lurk. Or, or a ghost, fl flying ghost. Um, Giratina, Driftlim is also the recommended. So, Getting off the sludge bomb here, I didn't see what we are against. Um, no, you got to go frenzy here. So, poisons, grass is resisted because of the poison, and so is the poison because of the poison. And frenzy plant is just such a way better move. So, always throw frenzy plant in in situations where both are resisted. Parabolic charge. Again, this is early in the season, but you rarely see that move being used. Because it's going to break and sweep. Does lower your attack. Oof. Plus a full volt switch through, goes through there. Yeah, that's rough. Um, Earthquake does land and catch them off guard you do have a shield advantage i would let the first move go i would let the first move go just because um you know if they landed a crunch and lowered your defense i would rather shield the second crunch with with a lower defense as opposed to shielding the first crunch i know if they go crunch first they have an opportunity to bait aqua tail later but you just can't risk them lowering your ta you're lowering your defense and then landing a harder hitting crunch the second time around Okay, good lead. There's your steal. Here we go. Where are you going? Again, this is not a... You don't really have a good steal answer. This is not a good steal answer, especially with the Focus Blast coming here. Because um, you do have Earthquake, but it is non-stab from a Licky Licky at that. So maybe 50%? Not even. Yeah, that's what I was kind of worried about. You're just going to get outpaced, out-hit here. Potentially out-balked and spammed. This is just not a great scenario to be in here. Just going Shadow Ball. Maybe it's slightly less energy. So yeah, maybe slightly less energy on the Shadow Ball. Uh, but again, they get to move. And you're trying to keep Switch, right? Because they have Dr Florgas and Dragonite. Is such an amazing matchup. Why would they give up Switch? Oh no, they had you. They had you. They could have taken you out and aligned their Dragonite on your Venusaur. And then, then they just sacrifice their Dragonite? What are they freaking doing? 
So I'll get to a Hydro. Hydro won't take you out though. And you'll get to a move. Which will chip a lot. Um... Get another move off. It won't take out. So maybe they're just trying to farm down and come out with some energy here. And Ice Beam. I don't think an Ice Beam takes out Venusaur either. Like it's hit hurts, but yeah, non stab moves do not generally take out. And now bank get the earthquake off. Do they not have a move? Is that or did you bank an earthquake? What happened in that? Trying to farm down resisted shadow claws here. Not going to do it, but then you're just going to get one vine whip through and take it out because they're not going to. I don't think they'll have another move. Unless I like totally miscalculated, I thought they could have just easily taken you there. Okay, Muck, again, a tough one, right? Because you, Venusaur is not going to have a good matchup either. Like, you need this to honestly stay in here. So you do get it to stay in. Maybe they think it's just body slam. Shadow Ball and they'll just let it go. Yeah, you got lucky here. Going to shield up a Dark Pulse. And this is where not having the Body Sam really sucks. You're just going to honestly commit to the farm down because it's such a waste of energy to throw a Shadow Ball with like 2 HP left. So we're just going to commit to the farm down. Down a shield, but that's okay. Um, and now it's just trying to chip as much as you can here and then get the Venusaur on this. Grab one shield, so that's nice. Um, getting to a Shadow Ball. This should, again, do okay chip. Not amazing, but eh, that's actually not bad. Get the Venusaur on this. Resist everything. Do not worry about shielding because it is a fairy and water. Nature's Madness is resisted. They eventually come in Skeldurge. Oh, right. You have no answer for Skeldurge either. <laughs> Okay. Uh boy. Use a ground type Pokemon in the back to to off ground or like a water Pokemon to offset the insane amount of issues you are having here with the Florgas Venusaur lineup. Um And this is one where it's like I looked at the team and I'm like, okay, I think this makes sense. Uh I, I recognize the steel issue. Uh, but I didn't even think through like all the weaknesses of one Pokemon. Um, and this does happen to me sometimes. Like I'll use, especially like uh, against typings that are not often in the meta. So like in the in uh, Great Leader Ultra, one of the two. Um, I'm often like double weak to ice. And it's not like a, it's not like an even on my mind thing. It's like a, how did you win this matchup? Okay. Uh, it's not even on my mind. Like, I'm double weak to ice, but that's okay because there's not a lot of ice in this meta. It's just like, I don't even think about the double weakness to ice and I run like a flyer grass or something. I'm just like, oh yeah. And then the one time you see it, it's like, oh yeah, this is double weak to ice. That doesn't work. <laughs> so then I have to break reset here. Okay, for alligator, I think this is probably the last one. Lands the hydro. See, again, the only problem is Moonblast actually here maybe the one time that it actually is better to go. Because I think a Moonblast would take out. But again, you got to at least bait it. Okay. Weezing. I assume it'll have Play Rough and just... Or maybe not. Maybe it has like Overheat as a safe swap here. I assume they will let this go. Because again, I would, I would, if I was a Weezing, I would let go, assuming it's Body Slam or Shadow Ball. So the Earthquake is catching a lot of Pokemon off guard here. If the Feraligator comes in, it will have a move, but you'll probably live a Hydro, and the Claws are resisted. So it's going to be, I don't think they can farm down here without taking a bunch of damage. They do commit the Shield, but they're going to have to throw here. And because they're drying energy, energy should be coming Venusaur just to get ahead on energy here. Oh my goodness. And then you just instant swap and lost. Oh my god. Yeah, Skeletors is such a hard answer. Yeah. So obviously you can... S nope. And don't throw a Frenzy. Don't throw a Sludge. Throw a, throw a Frenzy. Okay. So one, don't use this team because it's got glaring flaws that have been on display multiple times here. 
um, to Venusaur, Sludge Bomb and Frenzy are both resisted. Frenzy is 5 less energy and 24 more damage. Frenzy Plant is one of the best charge moves in the game. Anytime it is resisted, um, Sludge Bomb is a pretty hard hitting move, so it's not one of those like superior where like a resisted frenzy is still better than an aerial ace because sludge bomb is a really hard hitting move so in neutral situations or where both are resisted use the frenzy plants um if frenzy plant is resisted and sludge bomb is neutral one it's close because 20 percent off 20 it'd actually be pretty close frenzy even may be better there but sludge bomb is probably comparable um yeah, so thanks for the submission. I think the team flaw... Yeah, a couple counting mistakes that I saw, but those weren't too, too... Like, those weren't gl as glaring as, like, the... Oh, crap, you have a bl glaring double weakness here that is on display, like, four times in a row. <laughs> Which was unfortunate, but it's the way it goes sometimes. Anyways, that is it. Um, thanks for the submission. Thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.